Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the Starting Eleven show and it's Republic of Ireland versus Finland on Sunday in the Aviva Stadium. So we might as well get straight in. Start with the goalkeeper, Dan Randolph, in goals, without question. Um, and will be for the foreseeable future, unless one of our upcoming goalkeepers has a standout season. Maybe Mark Travers at Bournemouth, but he's the only one I could see getting near Darren's level. I think he has seen against Bulgaria the other night how you know comp composed and calm he is on the ball. Uh, not afraid to play it out from the back if he needs to. Will come for it. You know he'll put his body on the line, almost handball outside his box, but it was clever to kind of lift his hand up. Um, always feel very confident when Darren's in goal, and he's my number one, twenty-three, whatever you want to call it, without question. Um, rightful Matt Doherty, I'm going to go with again. I didn't think he had his best game against Bulgaria, but I don't think anybody had their best game. Again, I kind of go back to that kind of pre-season. He was only on holidays there, then signed for Spurs, and then he's put straight into this squad. So, you know, uh, I think Stephen Kenny would actually use him because he said he's been very underutilised by Ireland. Um, don't really know where that leaves Seamus Coleman, though, unless he brings Seamus in to play a different position or he moves one of the back four, back four around. But this is the team I want to go with. I don't really want to leave Seamus Coleman out there, but if you're going with a 4-3-3... And Matt's in form. I think Matt gets in there ahead of him, unfortunately. But that's not to say Seamus can't come in and do a job if called upon. So either way, I'd be happy with either or starting a right back. And I know most people want to see Doherty anyway. But I, I, I'll probably give in this time and, and, and go with Doherty there for me. Then, I suppose, centre-backs, Duffy and Egan again. Um, the rough out for the goal, more so Shane Duffy the other night. But, I mean, how many times have they saved us? putting their bodies on the line and Egan for me just won everything in the air he cleaned up against Bulgaria and um, we just we need a solid base for our for our defence basically to work off and a settled team I think is the best way to do that and work from the defence upwards um, and the Stevens left back again I don't think you can look past him I yeah I mean he's just yeah he's, he's, he's brilliant um, solid you know what you're going to get from him. He works hard. He's up, he's down. He's everywhere. And, yeah, I just think he's by far and away our best left back, left wing back, whatever you want to call it. But he's by far and away the best. And, obviously, he has that link with John Egan at centre-back as well, Sheffield United. So, I mean, let's keep those links there. I think that's a solid back five. And I think that's what he's going to go with anyway. Then in midfield, I think James McCarthy had a poor game the other night. And... I know he had been carrying a knock originally. So I think he may decide to leave him. I'm going to leave him out of this one. I'm going to put Harry Arthur in his place. Now again, this goes back to the team I would like to see. So Harry Arthur in ahead of James McCarthy, but he's doing that sitting role. Then I would have Jace Malumbi to give us that energy midfield that I felt like we lacked um, the other day. And, you know, I, I feel as though... With his energy in there, getting us, you know, real box to box midfielder, and I feel as though he has that kind of killer pass in him. That and you know he's played with the likes of Ida and Connolly and so on. So I feel as though he'll know their game either way. Um, Ida, sorry, uh, Ida. He doesn't like being called Ida. So if anyone's calling him Ida, he doesn't like that he's tweeting that. But yeah, so I think uh, those two in the midfield. And I think just in front of them then. I would probably go with Robbie Brady. I think he was done brilliantly when he came off the bench the other day. Uh, I know he's not naturally a, a number 10 midfielder or attacking midfielder, but I thought when he came on for James McCarthy the other day, he changed the game for us. He won the ball back to win that corner, and he took the corner. That obviously led to a score in the goal. So I probably, I will go with Robbie Brady as my attacking midfielder with Malumbi and Harry Arthur in there. I feel like it gives us energy and I feel like we could get around the pitch better with that. And Robbie Brady provides the quality we need from set pieces if we need it instead of Conor Howard who can come off the bench and if needed he can sit in that sitting row if Arthur's not doing the business. Then on the left side I think I stick with Aaron Connolly. I think he was our best player the other night against Bulgaria. I think he's the one that always looks busy. He's a real live wire. And I think that He's always a goal threat. Might not always score, but he's always a goal threat. And his speed 
and the fact that he gets in behind I think a lot of players are, are frightened of his speed and the fact that he runs at people and he can go right or he can go down the line and whip a ball in or he can cut in his right foot and take a shot which we've seen a few times in training I'd like to see him bend one of them right foot and shots into the top corner now against Finland but yeah that's what I've got with Aaron on the left and I'd go Dizzy down the middle I think Dizzy brings a different dimension I think a lot of people appreciated Dizzy a bit more from the break and got to see him a bit more so in that in that respect I think he should probably start and yeah I just I really like what Dizzy brings to the team the, the fact that he can drop deep and play players in behind that might be good for for say Con- Conley getting him behind the back or around the back sorry and then you have you know the fact that he can get on the end of crosses and stuff like that um good in the air holds off defenders won't be bullied and again it gets us further up the pitch so if we have a player make the ball stick up in the oppositions for the final third which we haven't really had that much then i think that that makes a huge difference i know either would done either either sorry get it right paul uh, i know either done a good job the other night but i just felt like he was kind of limited because he wasn't getting players up with him and that wasn't his fault it was just the fact the ball wasn't sticking and he just when he when he did make it stick the midfielders weren't getting up in support enough but maybe that's the thing Stephen Kenny's working on in time but I think with Dizzy he, he gets us up the pitch and has done previously and I'd like to know our record once Dizzy's playing um, how often we've lost because especially since he's came back into the fold on the mick originally and then on the right I'm going to go with Colin O'Dowda again because of his first half performance the other night I feel like he's earned a right to play on the right wing in this game his second half performance maybe not so much but I'm going to go with him for this one and I feel as though that front three with the two lads pace on the sides and then as inverted forwards I think that gives Didzy time to drop in and allow midfielders to get beyond them the likes of Robbie Brady and so on to get beyond them as well as that he has his inverted wingers who he can play balls to and he's a very clever footballer who can play them in Callum O'Dell would be whipping balls into the box on his left foot for the likes of David McGoldrick. Aaron Connolly whipping balls into the six yard box for players to come into. I think it's an exciting, balanced lineup. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments on that team and tell me your team in the in the comments yourself as well as that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're aiming to reach that big 10k subscribers very very soon and if you haven't checked out our new merchandise head over to our shop at irishfantv.myshopify.com and have a look at our new merchandise there that you can get and we'll speak to you soon thanks for watching